Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What can Congress do to check the power of the Supreme Court? Have you ever wondered how the different branches of the U.S. government keep each other in check? Let's dive into how Congress can balance the power of the Supreme Court. First, Congress has the authority to regulate the jurisdiction of the federal courts, including the Supreme Court. This means Congress can pass laws that limit the types of cases the Supreme Court can hear. For instance, if Congress feels the Supreme Court is overstepping its bounds, it can change the court's jurisdiction to prevent it from hearing certain cases. Another way Congress can check the Supreme Court is by altering the impact of a court decision after it has been made. While Congress cannot direct the courts to reopen final judicial decisions, it can pass legislation that changes the substantive law the courts must apply. This can effectively override the court's decision by changing the underlying law. Congress also has the power to establish federal courts and set their procedural rules. This includes deciding how many justices will be on the Supreme Court and organizing the lower federal court system. For example, the Judiciary Act of 1789 created a Supreme Court with six justices and established the lower federal court system. In addition, Congress can influence the court through the nomination and confirmation process of justices. When a vacancy occurs, the president nominates a justice, but Congress must confirm this nomination. This gives Congress a significant say in shaping the ideological balance of the court, which can impact future decisions. If Congress feels strongly that the Supreme Court is misinterpreting the Constitution, it can propose amendments to the Constitution. For example, if the Supreme Court rules against a law that Congress believes is necessary, Congress can work towards adding an amendment to the Constitution to make that law constitutional. This happened with the income tax amendment after the Supreme Court ruled against an income tax law in 1895. Lastly, while not a common practice, Congress and the President can choose to evade or ignore a court decision, although this is not a legally binding check and can lead to significant political and legal tensions. Three. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.